welcome to the Toolkit for Traders YouTube channel where we give you the tools for trading success. And we're back after a long while with uh, a long awaited course on MQL5 programming. So if you want to learn MQL5 programming, um, this is the place to be. So uh, following along the lines, if you've done the Toolkit for Traders uh, MQL4 trading course, um, you will uh, be familiar with the format. Uh, many of the slides that have gone through this are exactly the same, but I've updated them um, to account for the differences between MQL4 and MQL5. And so the first lesson is the induction. So start of any training course, you'll know uh, there's an induction, which uh, lets you know wh what to expect from the training course, what you have to be prepared to do, and what you can expect to learn and be able to do at the end of the course. So in today's video, we're going to have the introduction to the course. Um, and we're going to tell you what the course gives you, who the course is for, who it's aimed at, how you can get the most out of the course, and we'll set the scene for MT5, MetaTrader 5, and its language MQL5. So if you, uh, just before we go into the video, uh, really help me out if you would like the video, subscribe to the channel and share a comment, how you're finding the course as you go along, any questions you have. Um, I do try and answer as many as I can, um, but also there's people on the uh, YouTube uh, community that will help each other out as they learn as well. So it's a really great place to be and to do that. Okay, so we start the course as we do with uh, with every course that we do. Uh, with every lesson through here, we start with a motivational quote. And for this one, it's an investment in knowledge pays the best interest. And that's Benjamin Franklin, Benjamin Franklin, who's on the US $100 bill. Um, he's featured there. But, you, you know, the point he's making is invest in yourself, invest in your own self-knowledge, and it can pay dividends further down the line. So that's what we're here to do. That's what this course is about. OK, so what will this course give you? So this course is going to show you how to set up your workspace, your computer to be able to build and code your own indicators and expert advisors. So we'll go right from scratch as if uh, we're going to go you know, right to the beginning where you've just installed uh, MT5 and the uh, the software that comes with that. We're going to teach you very slowly the basics of coding in the MQL5 programming language. So we're going to start right from the start as if you've got no knowledge of any coding. Um, there's no prerequisites in terms of coding. You have to be able to understand English and know what I'm talking about here. Apologies, don't speak any foreign languages. Um, but you also be able to need to, to be able to type and, and write. And that's basically the only prerequisites there are. So um, we're really starting slow. Um, and that's hopefully to bring everybody along. Some of you may find it a bit slow, but hopefully by the end, you'll, you'll still find lots of uh, interesting things towards the back, uh, back end of the course. Um, each lesson comes with a practical exercise, a bit of homework for you to practice coding and troubleshooting. Um, really encourage you to do this um, because it will really enhance your learning much more than just sitting and watching and the videos on your phone. You really need to give this stuff a go. And at the end of the course, you will have coded three different expert advisors of your own, um, which is really exciting. You'll be able to test these out, back test them, adjust them, expand them, whatever you want to do with them. But you will have done three. You will have made three EAs on this course with me. And uh, that'll be cool. And then you can go on from there and, and see wherever it takes you next. Um, how much does the course cost? It's absolutely free. Um, I don't charge for anything that I do, any of the expert advisors that I give away uh, or indicators I give away in the training. It's all free. I do it for the love of the community and uh, it's quite fun for me to do. I quite enjoy teaching. Don't get to do that in my normal day job, which I do also have. Um, so I like to do this and uh, when I get the chance, um, put this together. I know a lot of people have been really um, encouraging and nice about the MQL4 course. So and that's really inspired me to carry on and to bring out the MQL5 course, which I'm happy to do here for free. So I hope you enjoy. Um, so why should you do this course? So it's really important that we don't just tell you what this course is or what you're going to learn. You need to make sure um, you've got a good reason for doing it because uh, this is, coding is not always uh, that easy to learn. It takes... Um, some sort of reframing of your mind the way you have to think um so it takes some motivation i'm not saying that it's too hard for anybody 
I'm just saying you, you need to want to do it. You need to want to put the work in and the practice in. So why should you do the course? Well, um, the course um, really can is beneficial for a few types of people. So maybe you're like a tinkerer, um, the first category, where you have a current expert advisor indicated that you'd love to make small adjustments to two. So maybe you've downloaded something from a forum or you've paid somebody to make a expert advisor and indicate it for you and you want to adjust it but you don't want to pay for um, somebody else to make a minor adjustment um, and you want to be able to do it yourself you want to know what you, you're you're putting in, into the market so um, maybe you don't want to make whole new indicators well this um, course is really good for you you'll be able to tinker with yours and understand what you're looking at if you have an mq4 uh, file uh, maybe you're a would-be coder you want to be able to code it's a great life skill i love coding i can code in multiple different languages uh, because once you learn um, one language, you can. Uh, it's really easy to pick up another. Um, so learning to code expert advisors is a really fun way to get started. It's it's relatively simple, um, and you, it's easy to see what you've achieved at the end of the day. So it's a great way to learn to code just in general, and you'll be, you'll find that you can um, transfer this over to other languages um, like C Sharp, C plus plus, Python, or, or Java. Um, and maybe you want to be a systematic trader um, you want to create your own portfolio of trading robots. You don't trust black systems that have maybe burnt you in the past where you've you've bought an, an expert advisor uh, and it didn't work or it crashed. And you want to be able to build a portfolio, multiple different trading robots, multiple different strategies, different uh, assets and asset classes. Um, and the only way really to do that uh unless you take trade uh, very slowly uh is to be a systematic trader and there's lots of people that think systematic trading is a way to go and i think also lastly it's a lot of fun i think once you get this sense of accomplishment at the end of it uh, it's really quite enjoyable so hopefully you get some fun out of it too so how are you going to get the most out of this course so and um, the videos are quite long um when we get into the course are usually about an hour each it's quite an investment of your time. So you want to make sure that you actually get the most out of it and you're not wasting your time um, by just uh, watching the videos and, and not really learning anything. So the tips I recommend for this is pick a place and time. Try and pick a place and time that you can concentrate on the content. Um, we are looking at specific code, so it may be difficult for you to do uh, from a phone. I'm not saying it's impossible, but it would help if you were able to you know, find some way where you can at least write some notes um, and you can concentrate and, and really get into the detail, pause the video when you need to, that kind of thing. Um, I encourage you to redo bits that uh, you find difficult. So don't be afraid to rewatch sections that don't make sense or ask questions and rewatch the video. Um, hopefully, um, you know, I'll go through this relatively slowly, but still sometimes there'll be concepts that whenever you're learning anything, you'll find difficult um, to to pick up first time so don't be afraid to watch a video twice if you find it difficult you know re-watch it have a go at some of the homework then re-watch it again and that will help cement cement that knowledge in um so redo bits you don't find um i really encourage you not just to watch um like i say if you can find some time even if you can't do it while you're watching the video say you watch the video while you're on the train or um or something like that when you're at work in a break when you've not got a chance um set some time where you can go home and, and, and practice the code maybe have this video running in the background and, and, and let it sink in. Just have the have a go at coding, have the physical act of typing in, even though you'll probably be copying and pasting, um, so to speak, a lot of what I'm doing. It's really important you, you actively go through the thing of typing it out and testing what you do, finding the bugs, because even though you'll be doing exactly the same things as I'm doing on the screen, it will be different for you mentally, for your, your neurons in your brain you need to fire in the right way so that you take that learning in. And the last thing is try to set some time out to complete the exercises um, and ask some questions. Um, I realized the comment on here is exactly the same as the last one, so that's a bit of an error on my part. But you know, at the, the point is ask questions. You know, the YouTube community is fantastic. There is a forum on the Toolkit for Traders um, website which you can jump in and ask questions there as well. But, um, but the simplest way, just the little questions you can always ask uh, on the channel, on the comment section. Or you can try and reach me on Twitter as well. I'm on there. And the last thing is try and stay motivated. You probably will hit a, 
a wall where you find something difficult and you want to give up, really encourage you to stay positive, encourage each other in the comments. Um, call it out if you're feeling like you're hitting a wall with it and get some encouragement for that. Stay motivated and push through because if you get to the end of the course, like I say, you'll have three expert advisors at hand that you've made that you can be really proud of. So setting the scene, uh, not for Matt Trader 4, but for Matt Trader 5 uh, and MQL 5. Um, you can see that I've taken this course from directly from my last one. So you'll get the same quality content as um, as before. So let's just set the scene. So MetaTrader 5 uh, was released in 2010 to replace MT4, which uh, as of now is no longer sold to brokers. So um, uh, your broker may well, the, your favorite broker like mine may well do MT4, but they won't... Um, um, the MetaTrader company will not sell that software to new new brokers. They really want to push uh, MetaTrader 5, but MT4 has remained very, very popular, even though there are some benefits to the MT5 software. Um, MT5 allows you to trade stocks, CFDs, and futures, in addition to Forex, which is the, the what is most commonly used for. Um, coding indicators in MetaTrader 5 is done in the MQL5 programming language. Uh, which is a new, unique to MT5, um, uh, but very similar to uh, things like C++ or C Sharp. Probably more like C Sharp if you um, if you do code in another language. Very, very similar um, in the syntax and uh, the way it's structured in creating functions and classes. So if you're used to that, it'll be very familiar. But also, you know, know that once you've learned MQL5, if this is your first programming language, you'll find it much easier to transfer into something like C-sharp or C++ or Python. Um, MQL4 and MQL5 are very similar. If you learn to code one, you'll pick the other very quickly. There are some uh, there are some differences that are worth knowing in the way data is structured across the two and you have to be able to navigate that, but the basics of it are very, very similar. And if you've done the MQL4 course with Toolkit for Traders, you'll find that uh, a lot of it is very it's very similar. So what do you need to get started? I recommend you get a copy of MT5 from your broker or you can download it straight from uh, the Metagrotes company. Um, but most of your brokers will ship it with their own logo on. Um, but you can you can download the sort of generic version from, from their website. Um, so that's all you need. Um, to, to get started is just a copy of MT5. There's no other um, software or anything else you need. Just get a copy of MT5 and that's got your uh, meta editor in it, which is the integrated development environment or IDE, um, which is what you'll use to do coding. It's a bit like your notepad um, software, you know, simple um, text-based software on your computer with a few extra functions. So that's already comes with every every copy of um, MetaTrader 5. So you don't need to do that and then we can get started with some uh, meaty stuff. So in next video, next week's video, we're gonna start the course proper. Um, we're gonna get started with a meta editor. We'll look at the different file types that um, you need to be familiar with. Um, the save locations, because it is a bit quirky with, uh, with MetaTrader. Um, we're gonna create your first EA from a template. It won't do very much, but it will be a, an EA and how you start that. And also we'll look at compiling your files, what that means and how you get um, what you've coded into a, a language that your um, uh, meta trader terminal can understand. So if you have any questions, uh, you can drop it in the comment section below. I'll answer as many as I can, um, but feel free to jump in too. If you've learned this through the MQL4 course as well and you, you feel like you know, feel free to help others out. There is the toolkit for traders uh, uh, forum on the website you can jump over there uh, sign up and be on there it's a free forum uh, no drama there nothing I'm not trying to sell you anything on there just uh, jump over there and uh, you can join the conversation so like I said at the start of the video if you if you like this video like this channel please help a brother out and uh, like the video subscribe to the channel and add some comments all good for the YouTube algorithm and all very encouraging to me to continue to do this course and continue to get the content out in a timely fashion. 
And that's all we have for today's video. I really hope that you um, are looking forward to the MQL5 training course. Uh, it was a blast doing the MQL4 one. I'm sure the MQL5 one is going to be a blast too. So uh, like I say, um, stay safe and see you all soon. Mm -hmm.